Hi, this is Peggy with The Knotted Hook. Um, this is video number two. Uh, today I really wanted to watch the live stream that Linda told me to watch, but I had a treatment today and when I got home I just literally passed out. And I, I slept for about four, four hours after that. So I just got up not too long ago, had some dinner, um, and decided, well, I'm gonna give this another whirl. Uh, thank you for those who uh, subscribed without me asking to like and subscribe to my channel, please, if you want. Um, uh, and I just wanna kinda get back in the groove of things and, and let you know what's going on in my life. So as I said, I had a treatment today. I had one yesterday, yesterday's is the long day and today's a short day but it seemed to kick my butt today so um, I got home I ate something did a little crocheting and started to do a little bit of editing research on YouTube to see how to edit my videos and add little clips into it and um, add text messages if I you know text into the screen and add pictures um, I want to show you a few more things like I said I have tons of projects right down here uh, I just want to show you a couple more. Um, some of the crocheting that I like is I like Tunisian uh, crocheting. Um, it's kind of, you have to kind of pay attention to it because it's all, you have to get it all on one hook and then take it off and, and the patterns can be a little bit harder to understand. Um, I'm making up a pattern right now, kind of a, a mitered square. Uh, it's kind of not square though, it's getting more oblong than it is square, but I only have enough of this yarn. It's from Hobby Lobby, it's the Little Dollop uh, Watermelon Whispers. It's 55% acrylic and 45% cotton. And I have two female chihuahuas and I'm trying to make a, a real soft towel for them for when, to wipe their feet off when they come in from outside when it's raining here. Uh, so I want it kind of dense, so it, it absorbs. So this here is the Tunisian um, knit stitch. So you can kind of, I guess you can kind of see that. Light's not real good in my living room. Um, and it's, I got it on a, I think this is a G Tunisian hook. Uh, and I have to go up and then I add to make this corner. So I kind of wanted to do miter and then I'll put a border around it. I have one more of these so hopefully it'll make it big enough for wipe their paws off their chihuahuas they're not that big uh, so i'm working on that and i started to write i finished the pumpkin candy bag see she's gonna love it and i did start to write down this pattern and i figured out the reason why the face is so wonky is this is a half double crochet and i need to do it with single crochet so i started another one today I have I have 10 grandkids. I won't get 10 of these done by Halloween. Maybe next year's Halloween, but some of them are just babies. So, uh, so I, I got the bottom done a little bit better than before. And then I did half double crochets up until where I'm starting the face. And this is his mouth and it's done with a single crochet. So I'm pretty happy with this one. We'll see how that turns out. This is just super saver. Um, Super Saver Pumpkin, Super Saver Black, and I'm using an eye hook. So, that, I'm doing that. And then, I, like I told you, my uh, general doctor, my, my uh, family doctor, or whatever you wanna call him, my everyday doctor, uh, I love him. He, I've been with him for a long time. Uh, I had, several years ago, I had a, a, a lung infection that I had surgery, and uh, it was, I was, my, my husband at the time was told that I only had an 8% chance of surviving the surgery to remove the uh, infection at, underneath my uh, lung, my right lung, and then I only had like a 16% chance of recovering overall. Well, I, I'm a person who's, for the most part, her glass is half full, so it was not going to get the best of me. So with that said, I had to do my own pick line. I had a pick line of antibiotics for like, oh, several, several, several months. And um, had to go to a lung doctor, a lung specialist, and my regular doctor. But my regular doctor, uh, he, he were just, we became friends. So I'm making him for Christmas. A blank. This is called a lemon peel, I believe, this stitch. And I wanted to do a rectangle for him so I could throw it on the back of his couch. If he doesn't even want to use it, I don't care. I just want to make it for him. And this is Red Heart uh, Super Saver Ombre. 
in the color of uh, blue tuffle, something like that. Um, I really like it. I think it's really pretty. I bought four skeins of this, oh, probably, probably six months ago. I didn't know what to do with it, and then I decided when I was going to make something for my doctor, uh, I was I used this because this here is the stitch is so cool. It's reversible. That's one side and. Well, that's the other side, and you can't really tell a whole lot of difference. So, I think this this yarn is going to go real well with it. Um, and then I got I got a couple other projects still going. Uh, I'm using I'm making one of these for one of my grandkids for Christmas. It's a corner to corner. I love the colors. Uh, unfortunately. <laughs> I, I, my ring came off of this and I don't know where it went and I don't really want to go upstairs but I think this is a Karen cake I think I'm not real for sure what this is um, but the colors are beautiful and I bought this I think I bought this last summer actually um, didn't use it so this is this is my blanket I take when I go for my long treatment uh, in my doctor's visits because you know you always have to sit and wait because I when I go I have to also give a blood test so um, I work on these these kind of things there, where I don't have to change the skein and, and I don't need a pattern for the I don't need a paper pattern for the the stitch itself. It's done by memory, um, so that's that's that. I want to give a couple of shout outs again. Thank you, Linda, um, for remembering me and sending who, whomever you sent my way for subscribers. Um, I, like I said, I apologize. I really wanted to go to that live feed today, but my body just said no, so I didn't. Uh, but I, I did look up the name of the other Dow channel I watch, and that's Pamela with Crochet Adoring Dow Clothes. And um, her pattern is like $1.99, and if you do 18-inch dolls like the American doll, I have two granddaughters, and they both have American dolls. I have three daughters. They have American dolls. I have American dolls. And there's tons of American dolls here. So I like to make their clothes. I sew. I also uh, sew their clothes and crochet their clothes. So um, check out her channel if you do doll clothes or you have a granddaughter that you want to start doing doll clothes. She's got some really amazing things that she's made up and they're really cool. And uh, then uh, Hooked by Robin, she, she's British or from the U, I think she's from the UK. Her tutorials are really good. She's very, uh, speaks very plain. And her stitches that I pick up from her are just kind of ones there. Like right now, I'm, I'm trying to teach myself the feather stitch. Um, so it's just super, super cool stitch. And then, um, I, of course, everybody likes Mikey at the Crochet Crowd. So, and then again, I want to shout out to Madonna Mallard. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad you subscribed. Can't wait to watch another one of your videos. Uh, Pretty, pretty cool person. Um, now my youngest daughter watched this, my first video, and my husband watched my first video, and um, my husband said I needed to put a little makeup on. Uh, I don't wear a lot of makeup, I never have wore a lot of makeup. I put makeup on for you. <laughs> um, and I'm a t-shirt, blue jean, and baseball cap kind of gal. Uh, most women match their purses and their shoes to their Outfits, I match my ball caps <laughs> to my outfits. So you'll probably see me more so with a cap on than without a cap on. Um, a little story to go with that. My mother, she passed away three years ago. And she wasn't sick. She was 82. My mother and father both only took baby aspirins. Never was on a very... My mother at one time when she was working was on a... Uh, antidepressant and stress tablet. And after she retired, um, she, she just started taking baby aspirins. Uh, she had a slight heart attack three years ago and went through her, her rehabilitation, her rehab, and took her meds. And I got a phone, I was living in Arkansas at the time, got a phone call from my dad and said that your mom wants you to come up and visit. And I said, okay, it was only an eight hour drive. Um, so I came up for the weekend and before I left, she asked me if I'd come back the following weekend, which 
it was no big deal. I, I didn't mind. I, I wasn't married or anything at the time. And, um, if I had to bring my puppies up, I could. If not, my son lived in Arkansas. And so I came, my, when I left, my dad walked me out to my car and says, do you mind coming up and staying for a while? Your mom's just really not feeling good. Well, I ended up staying until she passed away, which was about seven weeks after the first weekend. And um, I stayed with my mom and dad most of the time. I stayed with my middle daughter on opposite days just to get a little bit of relief from it. And my mother passed away. Uh, but growing up, I'm Catholic, so growing up, you went to every funeral, dressed to the nines. You know, us, I, I'm an only daughter. I have two brothers. Always had a dress on. Always had my hair done. You know, patent leather shoes, little white socks. And as I grew older, my mother always said to me, "I don't understand why people get so dressed up to go to a funeral. Most of the time, the people that are in that casket, they know you in, you know, at barbecues, from work. They don't know you all dressed up." Most of the time they're family members and they've seen you at your worst and at your best. And she always made me promise that, you know, when she passed away that nobody would come in suits and ties. And she wanted everybody to come how she knew them. And she looked me straight in the eye because, like I said, I'm a tomboy. My mom said, you better have blue jeans on. I am so surprised she didn't say a ball cap because you never see me without one very often. So when she passed away, I had blue jeans on and a nice shirt, but I didn't wear a ball cap. So um, I guess that she was, eight. my dad's 90 and he's still uh, still kicking it. Still takes two baby aspirins in the morning and he's doing great. So uh, uh, I guess that's all I want to say. I hope I didn't babble too much and hope the sliding's okay. Um, I've always been told you take your pictures from above down so you get rid of this little turkey neck <laughs> but I don't have a, a this is my iPad sitting on my granddaughter's chair on my chair and I'm sitting on the ottoman in front of it so uh, I'm a, not quite high enough yet to get rid of my turkey neck but oh well it is what it is so God bless let's hope tomorrow's a better day and if you like it if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel um, I know everybody gives gives away giveaways and I, I'm sure I'm going to jump on that bandwagon too. I'm not pushing for subscribers. Uh, if you like it, please subscribe. And if you know you have a comment or something I can maybe do better, uh, please, please, please leave it in the comments. I, I, um, I don't take anything to heart, but you know, try not to be too nasty or too mean. Uh, I do have a little heart anyway. So, all right, thank you, and again, God bless, and let's hope today's a better day. Smiles.